I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Friday, July 15th. Today is National I Love Horses Day. And hey, look over there. All the scores and highlights are on the right side of your screen from Thursday's action of Major League Baseball. Now, saddle up, partner. We're going to go check out history on this day. In 1973, the great Nolan Ryan tosses his second no-hitter of the season as the California Angels are in a 6-0 victory over Detroit at Tiger Stadium. The Ryan Express strikes out 17 in the win. Oddly enough, while Nolan Ryan somehow never won a Cy Young Award, the guy he beat that day, who you probably never heard of, Jim Perry, wasn't he the host of Sale of the Century? Anyway, that guy did win the award in his career. Getting back to the all-time strikeout king, Nolan Ryan's first no-hitter of the season came exactly two months earlier in a 3-0 victory at Royal Stadium. Also on this day in 1994, the best action of the day came in the umpire's room at Comiskey Park. Cleveland slugger Albert Don't Call Me Joey Bell had his bat confiscated in the opening inning of a game between the Indians and the White Sox. The story goes that Cleveland reliever Jason Grimsley made his biggest save of the season, or at least attempted to, crawling 100 feet along ceiling tiles inside the nether regions of Comiskey Park before dropping into the dressing room of the umpires to switch bats. However, this dastardly deed fails to work when the umpires notice pieces of ceiling tile on the floor of the room and that the bat had been replaced with the name of Cleveland teammate Paul Sorrento. Whoops. The team eventually coughed up the real bat and was discovered to have cork in it, big surprise there, and Bell was suspended for 10 games, although the punishment was later reduced to 7. Birthdays on this day. James Baldwin, not the author, born on this day in 1971, the 51-year-old right-hander pitched for 17s in an 11-year career, winning 79 games with a 5.01 ERA. He was an all-star in 2000 for the Sox, we went 14-7. and seven. I'm going to screw this name up bad, but we're going to go for it anyway. Sengwon Oh turns 40 today. He burst on the scene for the scene for the Cardinals as a major league rookie in 2016, going six and three with 19 saves and a name I can't pronounce to go with a 1.92 ERA. While relatively productive in a brief four-year career, the right-hander worked for three clubs and went 16 and 13 with a 3.31 ERA and 42 saves overall. And Mark Appel turns 31 today. It took a while but the right-hander finally made his big league debut recently. The former number one overall pick was out of the game for a spell and certainly had a securitist route to the bigs, but he's now with the Phillies and has allowed one run in seven innings over his first four appearances. July is 2011 Tops Month here on the channel, and we're going to right the wrongs of what happened at Tiger Stadium that day when Nolan Ryan was on fire. And so we're going to go with Miguel Cabrera, who's always doing good things at home in Detroit, although now it's Comerica Park. We all know that Miggy is a member of the 3,000 hit and 500 home run club, but let's look back at one of his many All-Star seasons. In 2011, he batted a league-best 344 with 30 homers and 105 RBIs. He also led the American League with 48 doubles for the Tigers. Of course, it was even better the next year, winning the Triple Crown with a line of 330, 44 dingers, and 139 RBIs. Yes, kids, he was really, really, really good, and he will be a Hall of Famer. Well, time to hit the old dusty trail. I'm Bronco. Sports out.